Dear students, assalamu alaikum. In our previous classes, we have studied some topics from second chapter of applied mechanics, and the topics were resolution of vectors, parallelogram law of forces, and addition of vectors by their rectangular components. And all these topics we have studied in detail. Before going to next topic, let us discuss some important terms. Number one. Concurrent forces. What are the concurrent forces? The forces which pass through a common point are called the concurrent forces. In figure number one, look at this figure. If you look at this figure, we have a rigid body on which three forces are acting F1, F2, and F3. But all these forces, all these three forces are passing through the same point O. So by definition the forces which pass through the forces which pass through a common point are called concurrent forces. These three forces also passing through a common point which is point O. So these are the concurrent forces. If you consider the second figure, figure number two, let us consider a plane. In this plane we have number of forces. Force 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 forces are acting in this plane but all these 5 forces are passing through the same point or their point of intersection is common and that is O. So all these forces are called concurrent forces. Number 2. Collinear forces. If the line of action of all the forces is same then these forces are called collinear forces. Let us consider two points, points A and point B. Force F1 and force F2, force F1 acting at point A and force F2 acting at point B, but their line of action is same, so these forces are called collinear forces. Here in this figure, let us consider three points point A, point B and point C. F1 is acting at point B, uh, at F1 is acting at point A, F2 is acting at point B and F3 is acting at point C. But all these three forces are acting in the same line in the, uh, their line of action is same. So these three forces F1, F2 and F3 are called collinear forces. But here if we consider a point D, at this point and draw a force F4 which is passing through point B and F5 which is passing through point D. These two forces F4 and F5 are also collinear forces because their line of action is same. But if we consider force F5 with respect to F1, F2 and F3 this force is not collinear force. So this is non-collinear. Number three, coplanar forces. Two or more forces lying in the same plane are called coplanar forces. Let us consider a plane in which force F1 and F2 are acting in different directions but these two forces are acting in the same plane so these are coplanar forces. Here three forces are acting, first force in this direction, second force downward and the third force in the rightward direction. But all these three forces are acting in the same plane, so these are coplanar forces. And their line of action is not same. Their line of action is not same, therefore these forces are also non-collinear. <coughs> Here four forces are acting in this plane, in the same direction. So these forces are coplanar and like parallel forces. Coplanar because acting in the same plane and like parallel forces because they are acting in the same direction. Here is another plane in which four forces are acting. All these four forces are acting uh, in the same plane. So these are coplanar but they are, but they are acting in the different directions. Therefore they are unlike parallel forces. Here in this figure. If we consider plane XY, 
x-axis, y-axis. So this is called the this area is called the x-y plane. Force A is acting along y-axis. Force B is acting along x-axis. But the resultant is in this direction. How we can get this resultant? Because if we shift this force A here on the head of force B and by adding them we will get the resultant this resultant F. So all these forces force A, force B and force F which is the resultant of these two forces all these forces are acting in the same plane which is xy plane so these forces are also called coplanar forces next is non coplanar forces two or more forces not lying on the same plane are called non coplanar forces let us consider three axes x axis y axis and z axis this area in between y-axis and z-axis is called yz plane this area between x-axis and z-axis is called xz plane and the area between x and y-axis is called the xy plane in this plane yz plane we have a force f1 in plane xz we have a force f3 and in plane xy we have a force f2 three forces are acting at this point but all these forces are acting in different planes so these are non coplanar forces in figure 2 we have two planes this plane in which a force is acting and this plane this uh, a force is acting in this direction so both these forces are in different planes therefore they are non coplanar forces in figure C we have a plane, two forces are acting and the third force is not in this plane so these are also called non-coplanar forces. Thank you students.